Good afternoon. So I just thought I would pop on here. Say hey. I was just sitting here. Um, what was I doing? <laughs> Nothing really. Since everything is done, and um, I was looking for some stuff, trying to do some uh, shopping. Really, that's what I was doing. But, um, yeah, I'm so old school. I just like old school. And I've been looking for one thing I found. And I've been looking for um, Nike Cortez, the old school kind, the nylon ones, not the leather ones. Hey. And um, they've been bringing them back slowly but surely, but it's hard. But I'm just, like, nostalgic. It's like, why you take that stuff away? I had, like, every color, probably. Yeah, and then when they brought them back, I had some pink. I had, like, that hot pink. They were so cute. So, yeah, but it's now, it's all this leather stuff and off-the-wall colors. And I just need some white shoes. So, I was looking at Nike. I've been looking at K-Swiss. So, I don't know. But, um, yeah. I need some basic white. I don't have white. I don't know why, but I don't know what my thought process is. And I'm trying to get out of wearing Nikes. But sometimes I just want to be chill. So, yeah. But, um, thing. I have been sitting on this for a long time. Like I say, old school. And around here, we try to support our people as much as we can. And it's hard. I know there are a lot of new designers out, but um, a lot of this, it's like hoodies and tees and basic. And that's really not, I mean, sometimes I wear that stuff. It's not really my style, but I want to be more feminine. Um, but we were talking about that and I said, you know, from now on, because I talked about, you know, a lot of Ralph Lauren and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to continue to, not that I don't have other brands, um, but I'm going to continue to only support us. And so, yep, I know we have to pay a little more money. I don't care. Uh, when Darion came out, $100 for some jeans, no problem. I'm going to give you five. I don't care. You know, that's just me. Um, seriously, I had about 120. I counted one time. No, not 120. I'm exaggerating. 105 okay pair of jeans and at least 70 of them were baby fat i supported the sister so hard just every line and it wasn't just the jeans but that was just my thing um and i had kept thinking and i still have some stuff i don't care it you know it's not out i'm gonna still wear it i don't care i paid money for my stuff but I just, I have been thinking for years, sister need to relaunch. She needs to relaunch. Those were, those and my Darion's were some of my best fitting jeans ever. I could step out and be like, yes. I mean, they lifted and pulled together and tucked away. Girl, why when I'm sitting here on this, because I know where to find this stuff, you know, outside of what I have left but I know where to find it but I was sitting here online just going you know checking something an hour ago two hours ago now the news showed up and I was like oh my gosh am I psychic or what she is relaunching baby fat this summer for the millennials y'all I'm going shopping I'm not buying nothing else till the summer I cannot wait for baby fat relaunch. I'm just like, I'm so over it. Because I used to be able to wear, y'all, and I wore new clothes every day. It's ridiculous, I know, but we got the money. But, um, yeah, I just, <laughs> you just saw the article now. Okay, they can make some booty looks good. Girl, tell me about it. Mm-hmm. And I had some, oh, my, the shoes. Oh, my God. Oh, I got stuff in the closet. But, um, yeah, when we went out, that's what I wore, you know, because it wasn't sneakers. So I love the shoes, everything. 
Y'all talking about these kids be having hauls? Oh, man. I should just live on there. Stuff be coming. Two, three, four hundred dollars at a time. Man, I just loved it. And I'm just so happy. Like I say, I, you know, trying to support us. Staying away from this Fendi's and Gucci's and, you know, Louis and all this other stuff they wearing. With this Balenci sugars. Yeah, y'all, I know how to say it. But, yeah, I want to support us. You know, put the money... Because I know if it was me, I would want somebody to support me. So, um, yeah. Same thing with Darion. Um, I just, you know, I love Darion. I love the style. But, yeah, the shoes, the backpacks. And so far, it, I know um, you can still find shoes in the store. You can still find the shoes, especially the kids stuff and the baby stuff. And stuff at Marshalls and stuff like that. But, yeah, my kids, that's all I used to dress them in. All the little, you know, she had the capris, all the different colors of the uh, etchings. I had all different colors. Just every season, I had to stock up. But that's what they wore, and they um, kept that stuff. I gave so much stuff away. Y'all, good stuff. Because they they had so much, they it was still in brand new condition. So I'm excited, and hopefully she will relaunch. Um, she has kind of like a... You know, it's for the millennials, so I'm sure she's going to bring the kids back. But um, Calvin Klein is out the door, and she's like, I'm not worried because they're leaving. You know, they're gone. So I'm like, yes, girl, yes. Thank you so much. So if y'all don't know, don't sleep on the baby fat. I mean, the stuff is really made for everybody. And they're so forgiving. And the, the material, that's one thing I can say about clothes. I don't like to buy, um, you know, I did do Gap because Gap is when you height challenge, you have to really, you know, some like boot cut stuff and they bring your boot cut back. But I can't do boot cut. I have a pair, I think them Levi's, but they really don't look right. They make me look shorter. But you can't wear certain things. So I have to really um, spend a little money on stuff. And um, her stuff is so tapered that it just, I could just put it on and not have to do anything to it. So, girl, yeah. <laughs> so, yep, y'all, uh, get ready. Her dresses, her tops. It's like you could, it's like, it's streetwear, but you could wear it out to the club. You can wear it to dinner. You could wear it to a, a, you know, formal event. So, that's what I like. Somebody I could just... Go to one place and find something and not, well, I can't, you know, this sweatpants, this hoodie, I can't wear this over here. I don't like clothes like that. They get on my nerves. <laughs> I like to, you know, just be able to put on this and switch it up and I'm good. So, y'all, but who, um, I don't know if y'all are into designers. Um, who do y'all like? I'll be on her site all day, girl. Who, you know, who do y'all like? And does it matter, you know, who you support? Um, you know, even with the money. Like I said, I'm not one to. Same thing, you know, just out of habit. Not just going to go buy something because it's cheap. I'm just not like that because in my head, if it's cheap, it's cheap. Her stuff, all of my clothes look brand new. When I would sell the kids stuff, that stuff, people would ask, are you sure they wore this? And I'm like, yeah. So, you know, the quality really makes a difference. No, nah, I like quality. Yeah. And I got to um, I gotta tell my sister. <laughs> we were sitting here talking the other day about Nordstrom's. Um, and I think we found the same pair of jeans probably probably about the same time. And she was like, girl, she telling me and I'm telling her and we describing this stuff. And I said, I think it's the same pair of jeans. And I'm like, I'm on my way back because um, I want them jeans too. And we had the same issue because we about the same height, same frame. And it's hard for us to find stuff that fit that's not gapping at the waist or sagging in the crotch or too long and um 
we gotta pay some money. But these jeans were, they were a couple of bills and some change, unfortunately. But, um, I was saying unfortunately, that'd probably be, is that the most expensive? I, I don't know. That probably may have been, or may be the most expensive pair. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's whatever. But I would keep them things forever. So, it's not like, um, yeah, them Levi's I bought a few months back. They already looked like I'd had them for years. And I'm like, yeah. Levi's not like they used to be either. And my stuff just don't, they just don't last anymore. So, I look for quality in my stuff. I take care of it. And uh, it's gently... Gently worn. I try to make stuff work. Even these little top. Look at this. Uh, the sag. I just, you know, it's just a chill day. But, um, yeah, these little Gap t-shirts don't do too much. But, you know, they're cute for a little chill day. So, anywho, y'all. I just thought I would share for those of you that are hip. And are thinking about, um you know, wardrobe for the summer, winter, coming months, whatever, you know. Save your coins and your paper so that you can get on the baby fat. And, um, yeah. I'm just really curious how many of you all actually remember. It's not like it's been that long ago. It came out in 99 and it didn't she didn't sell until 2010, so really, that's not that long ago. And um, I know a lot of people remember that little cat. But y'all, the shoes, that's what I'm saying. She has some fierce shoes. Darion has some fierce shoes. I remember I still had a pair of shoes. Yep. Um, every time I think I wore them shoes, I would wear them out. <clears throat> And um, I had so many compliments on these shoes. And I'm like, yep. And I paid good money for them shoes. Good money. But, you know, I was sitting up here. I'm not even going to play it all. I was sitting up here looking at some red bottoms. And, yeah. But, again, I'm trying to support us. For the price of some red bottoms, I can buy about 30 pair of whatever. 40 pair, maybe, you know, because y'all know red bottoms are not cheap. But um, I need I need a pair of, uh, I need a pair of good formals. So that's why I was looking at my house, something that is very, very special coming up. So I need to uh, dress the part. But, um. Yeah, I just, and even with them suckers, I'd be trying to wear them suckers to the grocery store because, you know, them suckers start at six I'm going to wear them suckers around the house, get my money's worth. Her sandals were so comfortable. Ooh, he complains, good Lord. Yes, compliments, yes. So, yeah, girl, I still, like I said, I still have some stuff in the closet. So I cannot wait for this stuff to come back. I just want to see. It's like she said. She's going to mix it up. It's going to be like. Her old um, lines. And then. You know modern stuff. So that's you know that vintage. That's going to be nice. That would be real nice. So those of you that held on to your stuff. Or you're still rocking it. Kudos. Because yeah man. Don't be getting rid of stuff like that. Um. What is them other stuff? See, a long time ago in the 90s, what do we have? We had uh, cross colors was out, but going out. We had Fat Farm, and I used to dress the gentleman in the house, and Fat Farm, and FUBU, and Echo, and Sean John, and yeah. Not to sound like we labelistic, but... I really did do that because we wanted to keep the money in our pockets. So that's all they wore. The girls did wear some little jimbery stuff, but um, 
for the most part, they was rocking the designer too. And um, if she bring the kids line out, oh, it's over. It's all over, especially since Jim Bree is gone. I just, that would make my day to be able to um, know that I can go get them some stuff and that stuff lasts. So, anywho, yeah, but um, yeah, if you don't think about where you put your money, you know, don't, you know, think, just, I don't know. It's, it's a lot of, a lot of people complain about things, the price of things being too expensive. Um, yes, yeah, some lines are, yes, they're, you know, the average person cannot afford them. But then again, you have those that are going to buy red bottoms, Louis Vuittons, Pradas, Balenciagas, all of that stuff. And they can't afford that. And it's like, really? And you complain about this being too much? You know, I could spend a hundred dollars on, you know, a pair of jeans and no problem. You spending all this, you know, on some shoot what? That makes no sense. And people will do what they want to do when they want to do it. So, um, yeah. I don't know. It's a uh now when you can do that's that's when you can do a whole outfit and not just a piece, that's a boss move. <laughs> So, and see, that's what I do. I can't just buy one thing. It have to all, it have to all match. It's a head to toe thing. And so, yeah, I'm just, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one like that. I don't know. No. But, um, y'all, let me see. Something else I wanted to talk about. Um, I know some of you guys probably watch yesterday and trying to figure out what's going on and yeah like i said it's not an issue it's not a uh it's not and you heard him himself he said it ain't like he lost his job <laughs> when you can walk away from your job that's a boss move and it don't affect your income yeah yeah so and, and i'm up here talking about clothes we ain't struggling not by far um he going to work in a little while. <laughs> he, we just, I, I think I might try to, you know, come in and just kind of address that, you know, how to set yourself up um, to always have income and sustainable income. It's like, uh, you know, if you, if you do leave a job, you still can stay afloat because you have the same amount or more coming in. So, um, yeah, I might kind of talk about that. Um, you know, who knows? It may be helpful. But, again, that's why I try to tell you guys to tap into things that you like. Try to turn that into a business because you never know um, when you might need to um, leave a job. You know, if you're just contracting with somebody. Um, and they change their mind or, you know, it's over or whatever, then what? Um, but you, if you work for yourself, you don't have to worry about all that. So, indeed. But anyway, I am about to get off of here and, um, sit down again tired if I have had a long long day I need to get some laundry done and get on this um get on this thing I need to get some footage off the camera and put some stuff together I think I'm gonna do that and try to uh look through some more pictures and yeah, it seemed like the weather is still kind of crazy but I'm still looking. I'm hopeful. It was kind of nice today, but it was so overcast because I was getting ready to go out to the lake. I was like, let me walk over here. But it got too cloudy to be taking any pictures. So, y'all. 
I need to do something because I just that's something I I want to do the covers for these books myself. I don't want to have to pay anybody. And then brush stuff back. I'm gonna slam the door. Anyway, peace out. That was 